Well, hello there, all you amazing people. You probably have read the title, maybe see the thumbnail, and already angry, which is the whole idea with this one. And you may get angry because I'm I'm making a clickbaity, ragebaity title. And why are you angry? Because it's working. I've been debating on making this video for like a few years now. This is not my my life. The, I don't live on the internet. I don't live in Linux land or Mac land or Windows land, and that's my only thing that I do. So why should I try and and step stone when I have an opinion. And again, this is just a stupid idiot's opinion. So if you want to hear that, comment, like, subscribe, go on to my Discord, suggest videos that you want me to make, uh, subjects or subjects videos you want me to make, or post videos you want me to react to, whatever it is. It's so simple. You guys can form this content. Linux users are in depth, crazy, mouth drooling moron. Hashtag not all, but the ones that are active on social media, comment sections and stuff like that. Ever since I started making videos uh, about Linux, even educational videos, knowledgeable videos, tech videos, there would always be the X, Y, and C crazy Linux YouTuber, or not Linux YouTuber, Linux user come in there with their high IQ take on stuff. And I'm going to kind of go mask off, I think you call it, face off, not giving a, f a shit, whatever you call it. This could be a long video, so get some beverages in your body already. Honestly, if you are making an essay in a comment section, you know what that tells the world? You have too much time on your hand. Nobody's going to read it, nobody gives a fuck. If you have that much to say, make a video. That's why I did it. I, I, I don't want to go on to comment section and, you know, the videos I react to, for example, I could say all of those things in, in a super long comment, but nobody's going to read it. Nobody's going to interact with it other than a few minute little people. If I make a video about it, I can reach hundreds or thousands of people, but that makes it, you have to do some effort there. You don't have, you don't do you have to think about what you have to say. You also have to formulate it in somewhat uh, understandable manner, which I fail at all the time, of course. So a lot of you in-depth crazy Linux use don't want to put in effort. It, it, every time I see a Linux user or a Linux YouTuber criticizing li Windows and say you should never use it, I automatically discard everything they say because they have no fucking idea how the world works. There, there's a massive difference between having a preference that works for you that's called Linux versus some other people having a preference or having a, a need to run Windows and slash all other proprietary software because they just need that software. The stupidity. I, I'm sorry to say, like the, the, the low IQ stupid, like a, a, a cow will produce a turd with more IQ than this take here. Everyone can and should run Linux. It's proprietary software that holds you on Linux or on Windows. Which in, in, in some like in some instances, it's kind of right that the software holds you there, but it's not so much that the software is forcing you to use Windows. It's not like Windows is forcing you to use Windows. It's your experience. It's your, like you put 20 years of education into a, a software suite and stuff. It, it's your whole company is evolving around the software suite, like it will, ma it will mean that your whole company's structure has to be reformed to move to a another software or another OS. That is something that you learn really quickly when you're actually are outside in the real world doing real world shit. And another, again, like I said, like a squirrel in this instance can make a turd with more IQ is that, well, I can use Linux, so therefore you can use Linux. I am not you, okay? <laughs> you are not me. If all your life, if everything you do works under Linux, everything you have works under Linux, great, that's amazing. Go swing your fucking dick into the wind or something like that. I don't care. It just don't for me. It don't for the vast majority of people. That that It's the reality of it. Like if you think that if you or your mom or your sister can use Linux, everyone else can, they are not the milestone or, or, or guarding light or, 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 or measurement of what normal everyday user is. You want to know what people want? Go to Statistia, what the fuck it's called. What is the most used operating system? Windows. A lot of them use it because they want to. Will they bits and moan about it? Yes. Are they, will they be angry over certain aspects of it? Yes. But they will still like to use it. If Linux, again, let's take a bird. A bird will make a higher IQ turd than this take here. Oh, Linux is the best OS. It's just that people don't know it and blah, all of these excuses that the coping is flying right off their ass. If Linux truly, truly was the best OS on the on, on Earth for the vast majority of people, they will use Linux. It's that simple. Look, how stupid do you think people are if they can get the same thing that they're doing right now for half the price or for free? No, nope. hey, I can make dinner or I can get a chef to cook me dinner for free. Do you think I'm going to make dinner? And if I know that little life hack, don't you think other people will figure that one out? There's one universal fucking amazing thing about humans. They can't shut their mouth, okay? <laughs> they can't shut 
their mouth. You know how Metallica became popular? How how they, they really reached, you know, um, what is it called? Um, record labels and stuff like that. They were sharing their fucking music. They were giving away free tapes with demo music on and stuff like that. That reaches, you know, production labels and they got a really good tracking and stuff like that. But they would never, you know, go to that place if they didn't make good music. You need to have the good music. They just utilize shareware, basically, or, or giving it away for free. Free software in, in music, more or less. You know, they were doing the free software foundation to the new thing, giving shit away. But they could do that because they made good music. People didn't listen to Metallica because their tapes were free. They listened to Metallica back in the day because they made good music. Then we can debate about what, how good mu their music is nowadays, but you get the idea here. Linux can be free, it can be more stable, it can be more secure. It's just not been proven in any scientific way as being a fact, by the way. You can find studies that say it, you can find studies that don't say studies are not facts, okay? There is no fact that say that Linux or Windows or Mac OS is more secure. Can they be more secure than each other depending on how you're setting them up? Yes, of course they can. Get that into your skull, okay? Get that into your skull. Where was I? I lost my train of thought. Actually, I really, really lost my train of thought. This is how angry I am. I lost my train of thought. I'm so tired of these fucking comments. Um, Linux, uh, we were talking about... Anyway, move on. I totally lost the train of thought. Been a busy day. Had a lot of fucking things going on. So my brain is a little bit fried and lack of sleep. Excuses coming out of my ass right now. The world will figure out. I think that's what I was coming at. The world will figure out if they can get a better thing for less money, less effort, blah, blah, blah. How do I know this? I was alive when Windows Vista was the thing and everyone hated Windows Vista, okay? I had never installed so many fucking Windows XP uh, installations in my life as I did when Windows Vista was around. Who did I do that for? Everyone that got, uh, not everyone, but most people that got a Windows Vista machine. If people get something that don't work for them as they wanted to, they will figure out a way to re redeem that or, or fix that. It would be either buying something else or getting someone to fix it for them. I was the one that fixed it for them by installing XP. The same Windows 8. I was the one installing Windows 7 for them. If you honestly think that people are that fucking stupid that they can't figure that out on their own. Again, it's the lowest, stupidest, most brain dead uh, IQ, uh, low IQ take I've ever heard. Heck, if you watch the Johnny Depp Amber Heard why Linux got mentioned in there. If you think people don't know Linux, like, you, you, like are you jerking off to anime porn and only talk to like five people? I don't get what fucking going on in people's head, man. I really don't. It's super fucking frustrating. And, and the fun thing is, I see a lot of people say they do this, they do that. I don't fucking know if that's true. I can go on this and say I'm a fucking fitness instructor with, with 10,000 black belts in all kind of martial arts and I can bench press the fucking universe. There is no, you know, proof of that. I, I don't care if you say you have X, Y, and C. I can say I have X, Y, and C experience because I can showcase it. That That's the difference between you and me. I have videos showcasing what I'm doing. You know what, what I'm doing while you're writing your comment? I am actually working on Linux. I am working on Windows. I am developing shit. What do I do when I come home? I work on Linux. I work on Windows. I work on Mac OS, and I'm de developing shit. While also helping people with their shit. That's the difference between you and me. <laughs> I don't sit and, 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 and in comments. I rarely comment on videos. And here's the thing. The, again, this is another fucking brain dead fucking thing where a, a, a weasel make more fucking intelligent decisions while taking a poop than Linux users do. When I talk to people, and I talk to people in all kind of fucking the spectrum of, of, of uh, literacy when it comes to computing and anything with technology in, in my many years on this earth. You know what they what the clever people do? The smart smart people do. They don't sit on social media and comment section and go keyboard warrior on, on people's ass. If they have an issue, they figure it out. If they if they want to try a new thing, they figure it out. And you know what they also don't do? They don't push other people into their belief systems or their ideas. If they want to try, I don't know, fucking Becky and Kate made 100% out of dirt, they are not going to force other people to try the same thing because they got this brilliant idea that maybe dirt would be a better substance than flour. They're trying it out and figuring out it's busting up their teeth and they're not telling anyone. The only people that do the, all of this crazy shit on YouTube are brain dead Linux users. And I can say this with a comfort because I remember the 90s when Apple users use, was just like this. In the 90s and, and late 80s, Apple users was arrogant, self-righteous, in your face, Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. They were exactly how you guys are acting right now. And it got them almost bankrupt. They had a toxic company. They had a toxic fucking community. They had a toxic viewpoint on... on um, on the world like mm, Apple versus Microsoft and stuff like that. The, not the only reason, but one of the things that actually made Apple succeed was they stopped fighting everyone. They stopped fighting Microsoft. They stopped fighting X, Y, and Z. I am a firm believer that Linux could have 
garden. Lad os så sige, at Linus har 5% of the desktop market today. Linus kunne da have 10% today by changing a few key points. Stop being toxic, fucking self-righteous idiots. Stop fighting everyone that is not using things you don't like. So stop fighting proprietary software. Stop fighting Microsoft. Stop fighting users that use those things. It don't matter to. Th that's another fucking brain dead Linux user thing. Why do you care so much what I use? It don't matter to you. How is me right now using a proprietary mouse that use proprietary software impacting your fucking life? It don't. How does it impact your life that your bosses are using Microsoft Office instead of Replay Office? It don't. It really fucking don't. And it don't matter if Linux become the most used whatever or look at it like Linux is the most used operating system on IoT devices. Have that changed the world? No. It's still the same shitty world we're in. And it's getting really dark here. Just give me a second. No, no, it don't. A lot of people say that Linux is the most used server OS. Let's just go with that. Let's go with that, peeps. Let's just believe that which is really only for web hosting and uh, uh, they can't remember the other one. But it's not the most used OS for file sharing, virtual machining and stuff like that. Oh, maybe it's virtual machine. I can't. But you get the idea here. Let's just pretend for any, any, any whatsoever. Get ready for another Linux print that take or Linux users print that print that take. Let's just imagine Linux is the most used OS on the server market, as they like to say. How has that changed the world? I remember the world in the 90s and I, re I remember the world now. I should remember the world today. It's the same world. There are still companies like Microsoft. There are still companies like Apple. There are still people going around and fondling your privacy fucking ass. Nothing is changing. My local government has not changed. The, the politics of the world have not changed. Well, it probably changed to the worst if you live in the States, but that's another debate. And the whole fucking vote culture and what have you not. But that's another debate again. It's the same like on, on, on an IT world. The only thing that have changed by Linux being what it is today is that people are doing more open source software, which is good. That don't mean that they're doing a lot more open source software. They're just doing a little bit more. And that is good. Don't don't get me wrong. That is a good thing. It's an amazing thing. If you think your world is going to be better if Linux was the most used OS, you might as well think that if someone kisses your fuck tip of your ding dong, you become the most handsome and, and most brilliant guy and, and, and you become a billionaire tomorrow if that happens. It's the same delusion. I, I'm so fed up with the way that you idiots look at the world. It, it's so stupid. You want to hear a fun fact? If you are one of those people that are super angry right now, you know what I and other people do with your comments? We use it as comic relief at work. And I'm not the only one doing this shit, by the way. I have talked to people getting a degree in fucking computer science and stuff like that, that for funsies, if they are bored one day at school, will read comments on videos like this. You are a joke, man. Grow the fuck up. I, I say this a lot, that Linux, a lot of the toxic Linux users are like teenagers right now because they act like that, or at least the Linux community is in a teenage state. You need to Grow the fuck up. I'm not saying I hate the Linux community. I just dis dislike it to the degree that I don't want to recommend Linux to anyone. I can do whatever the fuck I want on any Linux distribution. I have no problem running any Linux distribution. It's just a matter. Do I want to spend that time running it? I could perfectly find running any Linux distribution 100% right now as my main OS. I just don't want to put in the time it takes to do that because I want to code. I want to help people. I want to make videos and Windows and Mac OS do that better for for me now. I don't know in the future. Right now, I have three OS's running right fucking now on physical hardware. I'm recording on a Windows machine because it's set up for it. It's kind of become my YouTube machine, so to speak, my gaming YouTube machine. My Mac OS is pausing. Uh, it's either it's an Aspen Gold video, it's a, it's a video about, so, about some advanced Python or something. I can, um, you know, I'm switching between, not switching, but I was watching a tutorial before I went to work today. I have my laptop over here that's running Linux Mint that I'm developing. What am I developing on? I can't actually tell that it's for work, but I'm doing Python shit on that one. And I have my Mac Mini right there that's running an M1 that I use as a potato machine when I'm in bed or, or want to go out and about with a laptop. I live in all of those fucking worlds right now. And the Mint machine I have is fucking amazing for just doing the development shit I needed to do. Is it better than Windows? No. Is it better than Mac OS? No. I coded like for 10 hours last night or la yesterday on my Mac Mini. I just wanted to do that. There's no different from doing coding jobs on my Mac Mini or my Linux Mint, other than the Mac Mini has a few creature comforts that I like. It's a little bit snappier. The UI experience, the 
UX user experience is just better. It looks nicer, which I appreciate. You may not. Can you make Linux Mint look nice? Of course you can. It seems to handle resources a little bit better than my uh, than than Mint. Just my observation could just be my specific machine. But I could code on all of my machines. I've coded on my Mac Mini. I've coded on my Windows machine. No issues. Getting started coding was of course a little bit more cumbersome on Windows because you have to install all that fucking shit and blah 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 on on my um, Mint machine. I just have to make sure I had the latest version of Python and lo and behold, I just have to update it. On Mac OS, I had to download and install it and Bob's wrong and it just works. So in that, if that was the only thing I did, if I only sat on my ass and watched YouTube videos and did Python development, I could do whatever I want on my systems. I, all of them are good at it. It's At that point, it just becomes what, you know, what do you prefer? And I personally just prefer the workflow that Mac OS gives me. It's that simple. And I haven't found a Linux, I found a Linux distribution that come near to that workflow. Plus the seems the integration with my watch and, 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 and my phone and all that fucking shit that you just like, I don't have to put in a password. I just tap my watch and it, it, it puts in the password for me. I don't even have to log in. It logs in for me. I just click enter and then, oh, you're near the computer. It logs in. Oh, we need your, your password credential. On Linux and Windows, I have to pop, pop the in. Here, just do doot, doot, and I'm logged in. Oh, I gave it permission to do whatever it want. Do you, do I need that? No, but it's a fucking nice feature to have. I can use Apple Pay on my Macs. I can, I can probably use Google Pay on, on, on my Linux machine, but you get what I'm coming at here. I'm not being funny here, but the closest I can correlate Linux users on social media and and and, and what we're going to do, or, or these media types here is to veganism and Scientologists. You guys that are active on these platforms are as fucking delusional as they are. You have eaten like you you are bathing in the copium from your from Richard Stallman or whoever the fuck you're listening to. Go watch a video uh, if you want to see it. I want me to. I can pin it down below in a comment section. Learn Linux TV did an interview with Wade Owl about what's uh, the thing that's wrong with Linux nobody talks about or something like that. They were being level-headed, fair, disagreed sometimes, but there was nothing in there where I'd be like, they, this is totally fucking out of this fucking earth that they are talking about. They are totally fucking mental. There are some of it I would be like, nah, I may not dis or may not agree 100% with myself, but I can see it from their viewpoint. Go read the comment section. Go read the comment section. They ping comment. Learn Linux TV pinned a comment from a toxic Linux user. There's a lot of good comments, but there's a lot of toxic. You people are, are the bane of Linux. You are holding Linux back. As much as you think you're fighting the good fight, you are hurting the good fight. And you have to fucking get into your thick skulls. That just because you can do something, not everyone can do. Because if if what you can do, everyone can do, when everyone is a Tom Brady. Everyone is a fucking Olympic gold medalist. Because if one person can do it, everyone can do it. The arguments I hear to, de to defend Linux is so stupid. I, I had someone giving a paragraph because they basically copy pasted what a PC magazine was saying and what the developers of this project were saying as a fact. Yeah, of course, uh, but a PC magazine are not experts. They're just for journalists, if even that nowadays. And people that develop a software or a solution, of course, they're going to they're trying to sell you their shit. They're not an independent study that are fact checking what it actually can doing. The, you guys need to f like, like I've talked, I had more intelligent conversations with a five year old than a lot of Linux users on social media and YouTube. And it's driving me fucking nuts. Like, is that the level of fucking stupidity the world have come to? I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I don't know. Like, something has to change. You know, like, I was just watching a video from Asmogol about Baby Inc. You know, the the, 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 the the crazy people that want to basically ruin the fucking gaming industry. And I just like, had they not talked about diversity and inclusion, but Linux, you would have a Linux user there. You would have a, like, they were talking about going into a company to force diversion into a company that didn't need it and blah, blah, blah. And if they didn't want to make sure that they fail. It's like listening to a Linux user saying that we should, you know, go into a Microsoft proprietary company and if they didn't want to change to Linux, make sure that they couldn't work and blah, blah. It's the same mentality. If you're not with us, you're against us and we must end you. In the end, and I don't know why you fucking eggheads can't get this into your brain. In the end, it's all a choice. Running Windows or open source or I run more open source software and proprietary software on Windows if you disregard the games, by the way. Most of the open source 
software that you are running is being developed or most of the development effort is being done on a Windows machine because there's just more users there. It's like if you're running VLC, there's a high chance that most of the development effort is being put into VLC on Windows and by Windows users. A lot of things in this world, in your open source world, would not happen if there were no Windows users to use that program. At least as the world is today, if Mac becomes the, 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 the dominant one, you can say the same for, for Mac. If Linux becomes the dominant one, you can say the same for Linux. But as it is right now, a lot of Linux development and a lot of reasons why we have a lot of nice shit is because of Apple, proprietary software and Windows and Microsoft. Up till I can't remember when, but Google, the browser you all love, used to run on Apple technology. If you use Quops on your Linux system, Apple owned technology. There's a free or uh, non-Apple version out there, or I can't remember what they're calling it, but it's almost not used. GNOME used to be heavily sponsored by Red Hat. Red Hat is not a good company. Just because they're open source don't mean they're a good company. But I see this is another brain dead where a fucking turd has more IQ than a toxic Linux user. They will sit here and bits and moan about privacy, security, and blah, 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 by fucking around with their Android phone and their Google shit and their Google devices and stuff like that. That is uncategorically and even proven to be more anti-consumer, anti-privacy than Windows is. Like they are in fucking lawsuits about it. But hey, they do open source. Hey, they do Android. That's a fog of Linux. Hey, they gave us Chromebooks that's closer to Linux than Android. So therefore, hmm, must be good. You brain dead fucking copion filled brains are running up and down the fucking flagpoles of Gabe Knowles' erect penis and, and supporting Steam. That is probably one of the most anti-development platforms ever. It is the biggest. It's hard to get around it. We can't, you know, we all use it more or less. But from a development standpoint, it's the worst fucking place to be and, 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 and sell your games. They take so much fucking revenue from you. And they are controlled. Like, you don't own the fucking games on Steam. Like, never really owned your game for the longest time. But Steam has control over Do Steam or Valve want to utilize that power? We don't know. But the fact is they can. Ah, oh, but they're giving us Proton. Yeah, they are using you, okay? Valve don't give a fuck about your gaming experience on Ubuntu, on your pro on your whatever computer you have. They care about gaming on the Steam Deck. That's the only thing they care about. And if at some point that ends up being a non-financial success or, or vi viability, they're axing Steam and Proton for Linux. They've done it before. This is like the third version of Steam OS or something like that. They've tried this before and failed. And they stopped. They, they didn't officially kill it. They just stopped developing it. And they, back in the day when the Steam, the, the Steam OS, I think it was Debian based, something like that. The, the first two versions, they were contributing to Debian or whatever distribution was based on. They were contributing to open source and blah blah blah. And then blah, 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 blah. this is the best fuck chance they have right now of actually succeeding. By the way, but Valve don't give a fuck about Linux. Valve gives a fuck about Valve. They needed an OS. They needed a system to play their games on a handheld device that is the most exploding market on earth right now when it comes to gaming. More and more people move away from computer gaming to handheld gaming and when the day comes that almost nobody games on their fucking computers anymore and we all handheld gaming, Valve didn't have a store there. They didn't have a way to basically live in that world. They do now. Using Linux. Save them a lot of money. Doing Proton that you idiots in the community made for them more or less. Yeah, they paid a few developers and gave a little but in the, you probably paid for 90% of that development effort so they could do the Steam Deck and they don't care about you. They are using you as a fucking two dollar hooker for gratification but they're using you so they can get what they want a shit ton of money on a handheld mark does it benefit you right now yes it also benefit you getting a fucking plotter from a two dollar hooker but then you also get an std like down the line this is the stupidity i can't i can't handle also from the linux community they, they, they it's not okay for them to do it but if we like you it's oh you can do what you can check telemetry you can do this and i know there's the googling videos out there but they are few and far between microsoft canning an open source project you guys are twisting your knots more than a fucking angry grandmother. But um, Red Hat kind of killing off CentOS. Nobody really talked about that. Let's not talk about that. And what they basically did, that there's, there, there was no more Microsoft move than what Red Hat did to CentOS. That's exactly how Microsoft, do, well, that's how business is working, basically. You take out your competitors. You guys even know, you praying that idiots even know how that came about. CentOS was taking money away from Red Hat. Red Hat took CentOS under their win, wing, but demanded a seat on the 
Council and the controlling vote. They could veto anything they want. They left Sandorf alone until Sandorf became so big that it was becoming a main threat for the business model of Red Hat. What did they do? Restructured Sandorf, aka killing off Sandorf. So now we have Rocky Linux, U Linux, and all that fucking shit. How many talked about that? That is a, I will even say it's an anti competitive move, to be honest. But I don't specifically know 100% the American law for that because they are living in America. Or not, they're operating in, <laughs> but they are probably also living in America. But had any other company done that, you guys would have been so mad, so mad, stupidly mad. But an open source company, eh, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. You guys don't know how much you're being manipulated. And you're being manipulated on Windows, other software. You're also being manipulated by open source software. You're being manipulated on Linux distributions. Why are you so angry over, over snap packages? When I started Linux, using Linux in the 90s, everyone were bitching and moaning and kicking their fucking dog in anger. Oh, they need a universal package format. Then a company gives it to me. Oh, we don't like you doing it that way. You have a problem. You're bitching for over a decade that you need something. And someone is spending millions of dollars giving it to you. Yeah, I don't like the color of the handle. Can you give me another one? And of course you have then the alternative that is flat packages and people are also bitching and moaning about that then you have the other one that's that's the uh, app images and people are bitching and moaning about that and basically the consensus here is that universes package formats are super bad we don't like them even though we asked for it for 20 years if not longer but eh, no we don't really like them but 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 if you need a universal package format, you should go with fat packages because it's open source. Even the store is open source. Well, the snap package is open source. The store is not open source. But who gives a fuck about that? You can make your own store if you want to. But they don't want... The, the main reason they don't like snap packages is because it's a canonical project. And why do they not like canonical? Well, canonical called them out on that bullshit. Canonical is doing is the most popular Linux distribution. With, uh, have the most uh, popular Linux distribution. They don't like that. Linux users don't like like popularity, which also, but uh, was it bizarre, launch pad, what the fuck it was? They were for years or for at least a long time bitching and moaning about open sourcing it. Economical went out and spent a lot of money. I can't remember how much it was. I think they said it was close to 200,000, something like that. So we factor the closed source to open source. And you know how many people helped the project and did anything with it? No fucking body. I, I think the, the latest thing we heard about it was that there was one version of it running somewhere in the world besides the canonical one. So so they spent a shit ton of money to satisfy these mouth ruling idiots in comment section on, on YouTube and on social media for them to just, oh, let's find another fucking thing we can attack. Like, come on, people. Like, do that, dudes, dudes. Come on. You're wondering why nobody takes Linux seriously? Oh, let's fuck GNOME because, not GNOME, was it GIMP? GIMP because we don't like the name. Where's that project? Is it even it's still existing? Look at how many useless fuck desktop managers we have out there. And then it's the whole System D. People have been moaning for something like System D for years years then we get it and, and and the thing is the people bitching and moaning about it are not technical people because if you're a technical person you were working in a technical field you will not have the time to sit and fucking type your bullshit on social media and stuff like that i have never seen this much fucking stupidity and i, I am calling it stupidity on window uh, or not the same amount because there's always idiots in all you know groups of, uh, in the world but i have never seen it to this degree on on any other place than Linux. And there's only one reason why people are like this. And that is because they're treating Linux and open source like a religion, a cult, or, or like an identity. Which is, no matter which one you want to put on, it's bad, okay? It's bad. When you were on your deathbed, nobody gives a fuck about how vocal you was about Linux or, or hating system D or snap packages. Nobody's calling you the fucking warrior of the fucking millennia, if that happens. Nobody gives a fuck. And one of the reasons why I make the videos I make is because no matter how educational or how right you make a video, you're using the wrong fucking platform. Oh, uh, you're using Ubuntu. Why should I watch your video because you use Ubuntu? Uh, you're using the Flatpak version. Why should I listen to and use the Flatpak version? Why should people put effort into uh, to help you guys out? Spend time and money helping you guys out when you're acting like that? That's just from a content creator viewpoint. Imagine being a fucking company that wants to, to support Linux. You cannot do anything right on Linux. You guys are so fucking brain dead that not 
only are you fighting everyone else in the world, but you're also fighting internally all the fucking time. If you are like a fucking company that wants to support Linux and you're like, let's go out there and figure out what, let's just say, what distribution should be targeted. And you will have all kind of fucking eggheads, idiots going on in their forum or whatever it is. Do this, and if you don't do that, blah, 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 blah and they will go nuts. They, they will have a civil war in there. Okay, what package format should we do? A civil war of that also. It, it's, it's a headache. You guys are making it so much harder to do anything with Linux by being like that. All I'm doing with my channel now is pointing that fucking shit out. And that's why you all are mad in my comment sections. And I love it. You give me you give me money. I will make a deal with all the Linux community. I will stop doing what I'm doing on this channel the day you stop being close-minded, brainwashed, toxic, copium-fueled idiots. When I see more and more comments from Linux users when someone's using Windows that are not toxic, when I start to see people just let people be that don't use what they like to do, or use, when Linux people start to do that, I will change my tune. I will promise. If you are, if you all go to a, someone that says, I move from Windows to, uh, from Linux to Windows, and you are supported about that, you're like, ah, too bad it didn't work out for you, man. Hope you come back, you know, can we help you out or something like that? When I start to see a majority of that, I will change my tune. And there will be videos out there that you can point out that in this specific instance, there's a majority of, but you don't know how many comments that consecrate have, have deleted or moved. Because I will bet my fucking left testicle that if, if YouTube didn't censor comments like they do, there'll be a lot more toxic comments on those videos. That I will make that deal with, with the Linux community right now. I will shake you guys' hands and girls' hands or whatever the fuck you are. That when you start to become more like, uh, I hate to say it, but like the Windows and, and Mac community, I will stop making fun of you. I will stop trolling you. I will stop milking the fucking Linux cow. There's two ways the community can change their, their mind. Either people from inside the community are slapping these mouth ruling idiots in the face and say, grow the fuck up. Or people like me, and there's a lot of people like me, highlight it so other people can see how it's go, how, how it actually is. And this is the best way I could. I tried to correct and slap the the, the, the mouth ruling idiots in the face. Didn't help. Now I'm making fun of you guys on YouTube. That's it. I would love for Linux to be in a better place at the community level. Because Linux is a great OS. Linux can do a lot of fucking great amazing things. Linux and open source has its place in the world, but not as a religion, a political party, or whatever the fuck you guys are making it into. You should not be angry over me being like, I can't use Linux full time anymore because X, Y, and Z. Here's the thing. I've used Linux only for over a decade at this point. Like no Windows at all for over a decade. And you know when that was? That was before Linux was easy to run. We're talking 2000 to 2010-ish. No Microsoft. None. And if you were old enough to remember Linux from the early 2000s and the 90s, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Linux just didn't work back then. You had to put a lot of effort in to get your Linux machine working. And I see, and, and this is the sad part of it, a lot of the problems I had back then, I still see to this day. Some not to the same degree, but I still see them. And it, co and, 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 and it can be simple problems, like just understanding user habits that a lot of Linux developers don't understand. They, they don't understand that why people, for example, use Photoshop. This is another point that fucking idiocy in the Linux community. They think that people use Photoshop because they want a photo editor. So let's make a photo editor. No, a lot of people use Photoshop because of the ecosystem that is Adobe. And they also like Photoshop, but they use it because of the ecosystem. So if you build an alternative photo editor or manipulator, that's not enough. That's just solving like 5% of the problem. But you're, 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 you're forgetting all the rest. And you're like, why are people not using it? It's a really good photo editor. Yeah, but yeah, we, we need a photo editor, but we also need everything else. Not to speak about that. This is one thing, software do a lot they make sure that it's really really great training available for people sometimes even certifications and why do that matter if there is good training and certifications available it makes it super easy for someone to hire someone because they can just cut the line and say do you have this certification or not and you can like you can be a brilliant fucking dude without the certifications don't get me wrong i have no certifications when well i have a few but almost no certification when it comes to it but uh, for, for for the sake of easiness for, for finding the right candidate or well, maybe not the right, but a candidate. That's what the corporate world wants. And we can debate how bad that is. I would agree 100% with you that most certifications on earth are bullshit, but that's how the world works. You either play the game or you get left out and you play by the, the rules the game set. I have not seen any, they may be out there. there I know there's tutorial, but to GIMP, that the manufacturers of GIMP have a really, really good educational path or layout on their webpage, homepage. I haven't looked at it in, in, in a few years, so they may have now, but do, do they have that to 
quit to have that. Is there is there universities I can go to and get a degree or or, or certification in my efficiency and knowledge about game and quits and stuff like that or KD in live and what have you not? That is what really matters, people. But the the, the short mindedness of the Linux world is oh people they need a a word processor and they need a photo editor. So let's make it. Why is nobody using it in the professional world? Some are, but why is not everyone? For these reasons. If you have like a a, a one guy company, a five guy company, you can probably get away with game quite fine. You can probably also build a company around game if you wanted to. But you also forget there's a lot of people out there that are, that are their workflow is in they, they, their company is built up around software suites. They they build their companies up around software suites. And if you can't give them a comparable and easy integration and migration, why the fuck should they change? I I I'm I'm so so tired of this. That don't mean I will stop making the videos because I this is easy for me. I just sit here and fucking say what's on my mind that now for 50 minutes and then either cut it down or not depending on how much I want to angry the people that have the attention span of a fucking pigeon. But this is easy for me. I'm also making tutorial videos. Those take a lot of work. And yes, they're not going to be on this channel. They're going to be on another channel. But I I, I, I have a series that I'm working on right now. I spent already a month on that fucking series. But right now, I can make a, I can spend an hour, maybe 30 minutes in, uh, on average, just Lolo, have mouth diarrhea on the, on, on the microphone. And then I can spend like maybe one and a half, two hours editing. Bob's, Bob's your uncle, I post it. And it gets way more views and traffic and anything that any other thing I do on this channel. I tried a lot of different things. Reaction and, and, and highlighting the bullshittery in Linux is what goes well on this channel. So that's what I'm doing. And when I feel the need to do the tutorial and the educational, the tech videos, that's another channel. And I'm not going to tell you guys which channel it is here. You have to find it yourself because I don't want the same brain that fucking idiots that comment on these videos that are not subscribed or so subscribe going on there being toxic idiot. And I have a, I have a, 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 a plan or a, a rule that says you can talk about Linux, but the second you become an elitist toxic moron, you are banned on that channel. I don't care if you say Linux is best or I don't care if you say Linux is good or I prefer to do this on the Linux. But if you're starting to become a toxic mofo, cut out because nobody wants to deal with people like this. Nobody wants to. But again, I highly recommend watching that Learn Linux TV. It's a 50 minute long video or something like that, a 47 minute long video. Watch it. Or if you don't want to watch it, just read the comment section. You know, pop a beer, pop a soda, pop your testicles, I don't know, and read the comment section and just see that there is a lot of craziness going on there. And threats that are super long. You don't see that on Windows. You don't see Windows users do that on Linux videos. You don't see Mac people do that on Linux videos. You guys are acting like fucking we were still in the 80s. You know, like or in the 90s when the internet was new and everyone was shit posting on the internet and being dickheads on the internet. The, the world have grown up. I only see people acting like this, like I said, called religious fanatics, political fanatics, vegans, and and, and, and the, the vogue culture. Those are the only ones that are acting like this. And all of them have nothing to do with tech. <laughs> That's the fun part. The only people that act like Linux users are non-tech people. Everyone else in the tech world, they will have their debate, they will disagree, but they don't fucking act like this. They don't. I, I just, a fun fact is that there's probably a, most companies, if not all companies on earth, probably have Linux warning in some way or shape or form. They just don't know. It could be a fucking, the code in the emergency sign. It could be, the, you know, the code in the toaster. It could be the refrigerator code. So if you want Linux into all companies, congratulations, you have it already. It's just not the OS that they use to do their fucking production environment on or their office environment on. Who gives a fuck? You all keep saying that Linux is everywhere, but you still wanted to convert people. If Linux was everywhere, you did need to convert them, which is a term that only fucking religious people and not cases are using anyway or convincing. I just needed to rant, okay? I just needed, I need to get this off my chest. Back to normal scheduling, I think. I, I'm, I'm just fed up. I, I, I am fed up seeing an OS that I grew, I learned about computing on Linux as a teenager, okay? I, I spent more, I've spent more time on Linux than any other OS on earth. It's a thing I hold dearly to my heart and I love to death and I'm seeing it be getting ruined by the fucking community. This was not Linux back in the day. This was not Linux in the 2000s. This is something that's like 10, 15 years old. Linux users didn't normally act like this. There were a few bad apples like this everywhere, but for the ma vast majority of, of, of time or in, uh, in places, Linux users was just like Windows users. Level-headed, could disagree, heated arguments will come, but it has been taken over by basically what you would call fundamentalists. And my 
my opinion, and I may make a video where I research this, it all boils down to the good old Richard Stallman. Because what these idiots are, are spewing and saying, they are all genius slash Linux. They are all fuss advocates for the most part. They are all a Richard Stallman cocksucker. And Richard Stallman is a cultist. He don't give a fuck about tech. He say that all the time. Go research. Again, I should make a video about that. Uh, showcasing where you can find the data about him saying all the time that he don't give a fuck about tech. He's a political activist. But that political activism is ruining something that can be amazing and great. It's like seeing a sweet, amazing girl with so much potential being ruined by a bad boyfriend. That's how I look at Linux right now. It's being influenced and ruined and, and, and mistreated by a lot of bad boyfriends. I want the old Linux back where we could disagree about package managers, but in the end, we were happy and smiling because we were still Linux users. We were, on, we, we were in the same boat. Didn't care what fucking OS you ran. I would, or not OS, what a, a distribution. I would make fun of you, but in the end, I was just happy you were using Linux. One one more to the club. This whole division that we have right now, dividing us all, just like in politics almost, within the Linux circles, we have never, in the Linux community, we have never been so angry at each other as we is now, and it has to fucking stop. It has to fucking stop people, because there are more people leaving Linux than coming. I know you see the statistic going up in the desktop markets here, but that don't really tell you the whole picture. There are a lot of people moving away from Linux and then we get more in, but people don't stay on Linux. The average lifespan of a Linux user is in, according to my findings, between three to five years, at most 10 years. They need to start to go back to some other systems or dual booting. So if you are a Linux user and you love it, you may only last like three to five years before you go back to some, or at least go past it back to the old systems and become more level-headed, I hope. Thoughts down below, do the subscribe, comment thing, and I will ban you if you're a fucking idiot. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I don't give a fuck about this chat. Um, yeah, go nuts.